Hi guys! Today I will be reacting to my very first video on YouTube and even trying to recreate it. So I don't have the same dinosaurs. Well, I couldn't find my um, Gryposaurus, so I'll do it with different dinosaurs. So here we go. Instead of the iconic, hi guys, I just said, hello everyone. So. You see this guy? This is not a normal sky. Oh God, I, to I totally took that off of Bionicosaurus. Dinosaur Central. I mean, Dinosaur Island. But I don't think he actually said that. I think he just said, um, um, like, uh, I can't think of it, but, do you see the sky? Well, it is not the sky that we see today. It is a sky back in the dinosaur time. I don't know, I don't know. And I was not keen and said 65 million years ago when the dinosaurs died 66 million years ago. When the dinosaurs dominated the planet. This is so weird. And it is almost the end of the Mesozoic hmm. in the Cretaceous. Even though I'm a girl, I know a lot about dinosaurs. These are two dinosaurs together. This yellow one. I did not study Together, and called it Gryposaurus instead of Gryposaurus. <laughs> Earthquakes, rock slides, and of course, predators. Oh no. Then I talked about all the dangers. I don't know. <laughs> well, just because you're showing earthquakes and rock slides and many other dangers. Oh my goodness. This is bad. As it is. Like getting killed by asteroids. I mean, why? Like, the asteroids will fall on them? Together. Wait. Now, first, let's take a look at the description. Take a look at that description. Breckenridge. Who... Who wrote the description? I think my mom did it. She just wrote Breckenridge. That's it. We weren't very creative with the new channel back then. Adventure Dinosaurs G was a new channel. So, yeah. They watch for grazing place. Oh my goodness. They find a giant pest. I don't think it's that big. Well, I guess it is this big. Is a giant moss that they will both lunch on. Hmm. In my terrible dinosaur sounds. Back then. And I don't remember my voice being that squeaky. I know one year is a long time ago, but I don't remember my but voice being that squeaky. Finds a perfect grazing spot. Well, I think I still sound like that because I was eight there. I'm almost ten, so yeah. Many flowers are blooming. Oh my goodness. This is as bad as it is. This falls into flower love. What is flower love? But he does wake up from his love of flowers. But finds a thorn bush. And runs.
runs away. For his thorns fall down onto animals. Oh my goodness. And scab them. Wait. Wait, that never happened. That never happened. I mean, I don't think thorns fall down on dinosaurs and scab them at all. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh no. You listen, you don't die from thorns. This is another unlucky Parasaurolophus. Not the friend of Frankosaurus, but another one. That's actually the same Parasaurolophus. <laughs> I just made it look like a different one. That's actually the same one. And he flings back. Whoa, that is weird. A peaceful death. Peaceful death? I mean, how could a Parasaurolophus even climb a tree? I mean, why? So, while they eat, he thinks about the danger of all of those thorns. Oh my goodness. other dangers. Like that was a terrible things. photographer back, back then. They go together onto a big rock. I don't think Gryposaurus and Parasaurolophus would even be friends. To be honest. This is so weird. See, look, I just um point my... Well, you see, what I did a long time ago was I, like, pointed my camera at a different angle. Like, like this. And just thought... Like that. I mean that that's that's just weird. And of course I was very new to that channel back then. Had it for a year actually. So and lays down right the source says too. Oh, no. I don't think Gryposaurus and Parasaurolophus would even live together. Well, unless they were orphans or something, or they like each other. I don't get this video. I really don't get it. A big rumbling is about. Big rumbling is about. tell that you're making those sounds. But luckily, the rocks miss the dinosaurs. Oh, come on! We need more rocks this than that. Not lucky. For an earthquake is starting to happen. And rock slides are showering dinosaurs. We can tell that you're making those sounds. To be honest, um, I would never make a video like this now. They don't want to leave their home. I have improved over or the years. Their life. So yeah. And go into the afterlife. I was like so descriptive back then. They don't understand the meanings of death. The meanings of death. Oh my god. Oh my. Meteors terrible. come showering and hit the dinos. And the earthquake and the rock slides are killing them all around the world. Oh my gosh, what's happening? This disaster is now local. Is See, local. look, I just fought, fought, and I said it again. Literally. It's a 
a disaster. It's but a it disaster. Last I just thought all the time. Think, think, think. See that Archaeopteryx fly by? He didn't get. Of he course he got killed. Uh, and Archaeopteryx was. didn't even live back then. They must release the Earth. I had to cut that part off because daddy came out, so yeah. But, the moment I have been waiting for is here. The recreation of my first video on YouTube. Hi guys, we are back and we are in the backyard because it's finally time to recreate my first video on YouTube. Dinosaur mass extinction. One year ago, May 26th, 2019. It is time to recreate that video with Featherclaw here. Featherclaw, say hi. Hi! And anyway, my name is Caramel and it is time. I don't live in the same place anymore because that was just a trip. But I I am in the backyard, which is kind of like a rainforest. So I think I can still redo the video. I'm really scared, but let's do it. Hello everyone. Do you see the sky? This is not a normal sky. It is dinosaur time. We must travel 60, back to 66 million years ago when the dinosaurs dominated the planet. So we are here in the Cretaceous period and it's almost the end of the Mesozoic. But here we see two dinosaurs together. We see Camarasaurus and a Therizinosaurus together they must face many dangers. Earthquakes, rock slides, and of course, predators. But don't worry, we won't be showing predators in this video. Just earthquakes, rock slides, and many other dangers. These two have been journeying together for a long time. And they are now looking for a grazing spot. Actually, they have found a whole field for themselves, so they can graze. But this grass tastes so good that the Camarasaurus falls into her love of grass. <coughs> but of course she does wake up from her love of grass because there are needles scattered all over the place. And for they must be sharp and scab dinosaurs, maybe even more serious conditions, and they get killed. Here is an unlucky Camarasaurus. Not the friend of theirs in the source, but another one. He is not aware that there are needles, and <laughs> he falls into a peaceful death. And while the Camarasaurus is grazing, she thinks about all the dangers. What could happen <laughs> to her faithful friend, the Therizinosaurus? But together, they must go and build a nest. This entire area will be their resting place. Well, where they sleep. <laughs> Of 
course, the Camarasaurus stomps on the nest to make it more flat. But then, just as they're about to go to sleep, there is a rumbling sound. Luckily, um, the rocks miss the two dinosaurs. And then, but just then, <laughs> there are more where that came from. <laughs> Falls down onto the Camarasaurus tail, and she dies. And then, just then, There's an Asaurus dies. The end is here. It is finally here. The end of the Mesozoic. These two did not want to give up their lives and go into the afterlife. For they did not know the meanings of death. And now they have wasted time and just died. The disaster is now local to now global. But this disaster cannot last forever. Something must release the earth from this global disaster. Dinosaurs are getting killed from everywhere. And most of them, well, likely most of them, are getting very sick and dying. So, we must say goodbye to the ones that have passed. But, for the last thing, something must release the earth. Enjoyed the recreation of my first video on YouTube.